Hello and welcome back to DMXZ Plays Psychonauts. In the last episode, we actually went around and collected stuff. In this episode, we're actually going to climb. <gasps> yes, people, we're actually going to climb and actually do my favorite world in the game. My favorite. And with me still is MJT Mixter. Ironically enough, we've kind of been alternating between uh, recordings, and we just literally caught up. But I'm taking the lead with this first. And before anything, before we go talk to this guy who's drawing all over an angel for some reason, we're gonna collect the side challenger and get this side power upgrade. Oh, hello. Uh, who are you working for? What? I'm working uh, for Ford Crawler. Well, who are you working I'm for? With the Psychonauts. Who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Uh, okay. No, no, wait. I mean. Analytical, man. The analytical? What? Guess I'm locked outside. I'm locked on the outside and I'm locked on the inside. Okay. Well, it looks like the gates are locked, but. What are you talking about? The dairy industry! The dairy industry? What the hell? Who do you work for? Who do you work for? I've been fully trained. The muffin man. Uh, Your guard, rambling to yourself with chalk. He works for the muffin man. Okay. You're just like, no, Mickey, shut up. I've actually never heard him talk before like this. Who you working for? Who is G? Okay, okay, but this stuff. Okay. You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. The milkman has uh, the key. A whole jar of olives with the cows in a big fight over the infrastructure. Ha. And let's just what? say for now that they <laughs> are controlled by two cameras. Okay. If I, know anything, I know that they. Signed a secret treaty with those Bermuda Triangle sharks. <laughs> okay, he's talking about Bermuda Triangle sharks. Where's the milkman? <laughs> I'll bet he's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. Uh oh. As soon as he's talking about lies ending, you know shit just got real. You gotta let me in. My friends. Okay. Shut up. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Okay, Boyd. Yes, his name is Boyd. Okay, Boyd. Here, take this door. I think there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Not another tracking device. Yes, it's another tracking device. The government is catching you, Boyd. They're always watching you. If you like 1950s conspiracies, welcome to Boyd's head. Oh my god. So Isn't many people with milk. Isn't it? Yes. Milk, Mickey. Milk. Is there any chocolate milk? Just a few missing pieces. There is no milk. Because the milkman's gone yes, missing. Now, which piece talks what? About the milkman? But the how am I supposed to get my chocolate gate. milk? But it's all about the milkman. But Mickey, the milkman's gone see? missing. Is this like one of those three D but, but paintings? My chocolate milk. We're just talking even about regular milk. I there is want no. chocolate milk. Something in the Every nose chocolate's better. That might help you see the world, like I do. Ooh, sorry. Um, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Raz, you shouldn't be drinking alcohol at all. <laughs> the doctor's back at the clinic, and uh, the psycho. What's it? Doing the dirty work. Uh, the doctor's back at the clinic. I know anything. I know that they, huh, were digging away at the plastics. Ha! Huh, like I don't know that they. <laughs> okay, you're actually scared. It's starting to scare me because now I'm listening to him. He's starting to actually make sense if you know how the game goes. Okay, I want this. Whoa! There's something glowing in the fridge. <gasps> now comes one of the most 
individual and probably well-designed powers of the game, which is clairvoyance. It is a fun power to use. Because now that you have clairvoyance, you, it can it can quite literally, you can look through everybody's perspective and see how they see you. And I'll go into how that works later. It sounds like it could get really confusing. Okay, now I use clairvoyance on Boyd. He's like, and now you actually can see what he's seeing with his weird diagram layouts. Okay. What? What do you mean? Milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Then how is he supposed Didn't to open the know? gate? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh. You'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Okay, if it's neither man nor milk, and we're going to a graveyard. It must be cheese. Huh? And, and we're Jeff, going to... They're watching? All the time. Okay. I think my witty one-liners are failing. Now, how am I gonna find some creepy graveyard in this? Oh man, nice, I love this world. Neighborhood. Yes, Raz, it's nice and normal. Okay. The thing with this world, you might be looking at that going, oh shit, this is fucking confusing. It's actually not as bad as it looks, but it has weird rules of gravity. Yes, there's really, like, no floor. You can easily, very easily die from falling here. I have actually have died from falling here multiple times. Um, which is probably why I told Mickey, because I know she had been having a little bit of swiggies. No playing this while little tipsy. Hmm. <laughs> Especially, well, if you were getting dizzy just from doing spinning on rails, this one is actually really not something you... Holy fuck, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> oh boy. It's making me dizzy because i my camera's being a little wonky. This is a really twippy twi tw the really twippy world. This is a really trippy world. But one of it's the It's got you tripping all over your tongue. Yeah, it's got me twipping all over my tongue. The night the one of the things uh is with this world. Um uh, since co since uh, Oleander basically, as Kochamara, took all of your freaking psi powers, a uh, psychic aggression away. This is actually the perfect world to start actually restocking on your psychic aggression if you didn't go around collecting like I did. But if you went around collecting like I did, you're gonna just be getting a bunch of arrowheads, which is awesome. Oh my god, why am I curving so much? I'm gonna pick this up, but I'll go into why I have this later. Good, Raz, you didn't say the lines that I knew you were gonna say. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Okay. So, we- our mission is to look for the milkman. But where is the milkman? He is somewhere. He is somewhere. He is dead, he is either somewhere, or we have no freaking idea as of yet. So, Mickey, where's the milk man? He's on a lunch date with the muffin man. Why is he on a lunch date with the muffin man? Okay, so let me <coughs> explain how clairvoyance works. <coughs> okay, so all these little objects here actually have cameras in them so you can look at them. Basically, this little, even though right now I can't, it has a bunch of question marks. That's actually you running around. And I learned this the hard way and actually ran off the cliffs a few times because I was being dumb. We're gonna ignore those guys for a minute. What's in here? Is this. Oh, this is just a cobweb room. But this is actually one of. The, when the game actually starts telling you, if you. If you have not you bought the cobweb duster, you are gonna be shit out of luck. Because. At this point in the game, they actually, almost all the worlds will make it so, not this one, but the next few will actually have a passage that you have to actually have the cobweb duster. In this world, they actually have, um, 
an area where the bags are blocked by the cobweb duster, so they actually block you from getting more ranks until you actually get the cobweb duster. Hello, guy. Except for whatever you can get from collecting figments. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to make sure you actually have it at this point. What are you doing? I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, road crew only. Uh. Okay. You're a member of the road crew. No pedestrian traffic allowed. With. What? I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Sorry, road crew only. Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. Okay, that's what I actually what I was trying to do. Yes, we work on the road with these red signs. How do you work on the road with a red sign? Do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that hmm. question? Are you the milkman? How come you don't have like a like a look like a milkman to you? Like Jack a jackson? That information yeah. is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. Okay, so the gimmick of this world until the next payday is they can s they only see you with clairvoyance. He recognizes me as nothing, but when I pull out this sign I just acquired, I'm the road crew. This is my stop sign. he sees you as a member of the road crew. This is how the entire world works. You pick up items to make you work on the work of the world. Blood that be able to pass by their barriers. I am on the road crew. This Hello, is my fellow stop road sign. crew worker. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are. But the only bad thing is, if you drop your disguise within a barrier, they will actually make you start the entire area over again. So, along with these really trippy jumps. Okay. So there are a bunch of guys around here with random stuff. Does this sound fun, Mickey? Kind of. It's complicated. I'm hearing a lot of you banging on your keyboard. Well, okay, there's a bunch of houses, and you go inside the houses. That's actually where a majority of the pigments and money is. You open the fridge, it spills money. I think I will enjoy not being King Kong anymore. Oh, you don't like being King Kong? No. Yeah, like you either- slow. You either like that or world or hate that world. Granted, you might not like it because it's very- this world is very disorienting. I mean, it was okay, I just- I want to be able to move faster and actually yeah. jump to get crap. Okay, so, basically you went- Is there anyone on the line? These guys are just really weird when you listen to them talk. They kind of do everything wrong. Cutting the bush does not hurt it. Stop. This is a restricted area. Oh shit! My heart stopped for a, for a second. I accidentally walked within one of their barriers. Yeah, the alarm goes off and if they catch you, it basically means you're in trouble. <laughs> and they ask you a bunch of questions and then you're like, what? And then you start over. It's kind of annoying. So just try not to get caught. That is my main advice for this world because getting caught just is gets annoying. And also go into every single house, because every single house has stuff! Everybody wants free stuff. Free stuff. Free money. I've already gotten up to like, 328 monies. Uh, okay, we wanna go this way. Uh oh. Where are they? I know they're here! I want this. Give me. Yes! Give me that. Give me that. But we'll go there later. Even though we just got hedge clippers to go into the hedge clipper house, we're not going to do that yet. Because I want other stuff. Because I, I like to trim hedges with my I like to trim hedges with my hedge clippers and also perform tosselectomies. <clears throat> Because shoving hedge clippers down your throat is very, very helpful. Right, Mickey? Totally. This job is unsavory. It must be performed by someone. And then you got Hey Mickey, guess what the sewer workers are working with? Sponges. Plungers. Oh, that works. One of them has it stuck on his face. But well, yeah. I mean, where else are you gonna put that thing? 
I have no idea. Ah. Uh... 